This is a Valentino Rossi special MotoGP17 livestream. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be winning with every single Valentino Rossi bike in the game that I have unlocked. So I don't have that one unlocked, unfortunately. When four Moto2 races to unlock. So every single one that I have unlocked. So that'll be that one, the 1996, the... Um, 1999, the, um, do I have one unlocked? I must have one unlocked. The 2001, yep, and the, um, 2002, 2004, um, how many others? Or 2008, and then finally his current bike, which is here. So let's start, let's jump right into this and start with the uh, 1T5. And also, throughout the stream, I'd like suggestions on which track you'd, you guys want me to do. So let's jump into this. All fine and race hard. So for now, we're just going to start on Qatar because, like, uh, yeah, it's just first race. So let's start with this then. I'm going to be showing qualifying. In my, like, raw gameplay videos where I do raw gameplay, you guys will have already seen a 125cc and a 250cc race, but I'm just going to be doing those again. But. This time you're going to see qualifying, because easy I just do it before I start recording in that, but for this one, we're going to show you. So there's not many riders obviously in this class, and they seem to be really, really bad in qualifying, so I'm not really expecting anything less than pole in this race, not going to lie. Um, but anyway, let's see, let's see where we end up. Just listen to it though. Just listen to it. I keep riding it like a Moto3 bike, that's the thing, that's the problem, because it's bigger and it's faster than a Moto3 bike, so I've been struggling to adjust to it, but just look at this thing. Lovely bike. So every single, like, um, additions, if you like, of Valentino Rossi that I have in the game, I'm gonna um, do a race as. So, let's do this again. And you guys get to see all the bloopers as well. And the rule is I have to complete the race, I have to win, and I cannot fall off. So, yeah, Let's see how this goes. Don't you just love the sound of this bike, though? It's insane. Topping out at 222 kilometers an hour. I'm not expecting anything less than pole and by quite a large margin as well. Yeah, it's red. It's four tenths, not, not a huge margin then. The thing is, I haven't ridden some of his bigger bikes yet, so I don't know how hard or easy they are, but they are to control, so let's just see how we go, I guess. Well, we're actually down in that sector, cutting across the curve a little bit there, turning way too early. We're actually a slight bit down in that sector. This isn't one of my best tracks, but anyway.
see where we end up on this iconic Valentino Rossi bike. Where's it gonna be? Pole position, get in there. Woo! Woo! There we go. Skip to the race. Let's get this first win. Come on. I have to restart the race if I don't win, remember, guys. So. But what should play into my hands is a long straight here at Qatar. And Valentino Rossi's bike seems to just be really quick compared to the rest. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do well. Just going to try and gap them and just win. Well, that's all I need to do, just win. So. Just going to try and gap them and just win. Ah, uh, just seeing if the audio is all okay on the stream, looks to be okay. Greetings from Qatar. Greetings from Qatar. Let's get into this. The floodlights lighting. It's a decent start. Stay in first place. Be nice and late into turn one. And we lead the field into turn two. It's young 17 year old Valentino Rossi. He's by eight temps over Manaco. Very small field here today, especially in this one and in the 250 you'll see as well. Small field. So this is basically whatever Valentino Rossi bites you have unlocked at the start of the game. Because I don't think I've unlocked like any more Valentino Rossi's as such. So yeah. See how this goes. We still lead. Managing to gap them slightly. Not by a lot, but slightly. Yeah, if I fall off, I have to restart. We're gapping them quite a lot here. If we can just stay on the bike, this should be a win. One point seven second lead. Comfortable lead. Very comfortable lead.
lovely through there, slightly over the curbs, but still nice. Such a long track. Yeah, the point of this is really to show off some of the historical bikes. I know I have in raw gameplay videos recently, but still want to show it, show them off some more quality bikes. Quality bikes. We set fastest lap again. Really starting to count them now. They are way, way behind. Oh, I felt the front going there. That was close. That was really close. Come on, last lap, let's get this done, and then the first part of the challenge will be complete. Last corner. We've done it. First part of the challenge complete. Yeah, it's in there. There we go. Listen to the next one. Next up is Tomas de Rio Hondo. Qualifying and race hard. Obviously, these bikes never race on this track, so it'll be interesting to see how they fare on this track. And I'm personally not very good at this track, so this might be quite a challenging one. Not gonna lie. Might be quite a challenging one. See what we can do. Hello and welcome. Let's see what we can do. Loris Caparossi currently on provisional pole. He's very good on these 250s. Very good. It looks like it's going to be the benchmark to try and beat. So let's see what we can do. Don't you just love the sound of this bike? Oh. Big fly through there. Terrible exit. Hello, viewer.
two temps down through the first sector. Oh, breaking. Don't like this corner at all. So easy to lose the front. The bike's insane. Two temps up now. That's a much better side go. Hate this corner. You always go deep no matter what. Two temps down now. And we come through in P2. Pretty decent. I'll take that. We don't need to qualify for her. We only need to finish first. Let's skip to the race. That puts us second. So we do finish up second. See what we can do in the race. That viewer, whoever it was, is gone. Let's just see what we can do. Oh. Come on. Everything's ready. It's a bad start for Caparossi. Quality start for whoever it was in P3 on the grid. Ukawa, he had an unbelievable start. No, we've gone down. We have to restart. Ah, oh, what's the first fail? Is Caparossi going to have a terrible start again? Well, if Kawai once again has a tremendous start, it's not as bad a start for Caparossi. See what we can do for you, turn one. Give it tight to the apex. If we can get Ukawa down the inside, just be patient, let's just stick with him. I'm going to go down again on this turn. That was close, but we didn't go down. Slip stream Ukawa. This Aprilia is pretty quick. Lay on the brakes, get it stopped though. Oh, sat me up there, car in the middle of the turn. Got someone on the look down our inside. We touch you, car, we go wide. Get back onto the line. Jack is off our inside. Come on. Don't stop. Whoa! Get stop, get stop, get stop. Didn't quite get it stop. Let Jamie Cower down the straight. Pretty nice and late. 
keep it tied to the apex. Right, this is the move. Down the inside, lay off the brakes a little bit to get it stopped. Keep to the apex. Nice through there. Constantly worrying about falling off through there now. Here we go. Taking the lead, that's all we need to do. Finish first. Had someone having a look up the inside. Kappa Rossi's back up into second now. Oh, late on the brakes, but don't go deep. We have gone deep. Kappa Rossi almost gets us. Oh no, we've lost the position, we've lost P1, we need P1, only P1 is good now. I'll play on the outside, that was a bit optimistic. Although we, it sat us up nice for a move down the inside, come on, we've got him, get it stopped. We got it stopped. Oh, come on, ah, we're back into the lead. Into the final lap of the race. Caparossi goes down our inside. We're starting to gap the rest of the field slightly, although they've really caught up into turn one. As we've been squabbling. <clears throat> the noise of those two straights, you probably even, you can't even hear my voice over it, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't. That slipstream Caparossi down the back straight. Great later. Get it stopped. On the inside. Get it tied to the apex. We didn't. He's looking back at the inside. We give Caparossi any look, he'll be up the inside straight away. Caparossi and Jack get us down the inside there. I need to get closer to Caparossi. Try and make that same move I did into the penultimate corner. May even get him through there, we've gone a bit wide. We might not be able to get him. Late on the brakes. Come on, get it stopped. We didn't get it stopped. And we've gone down. No. On the final corner. No. And now we have to do the race again. Third attempt. Ah, another good start for Ikawa from that third place on the grid. Nakano gets a good start as well. I feel like I'm repeating myself now, considering this is the third time we've done this race. That should have been a win last time. Head down the inside of Ikawa and try and gap. Now we try and gap. Or Caparossi turns up after his bad start. It looks like we're not going to be able to do that. Lay on the brakes. Down the outside. Get tied to the apex. Right on the brakes. Always get overtaken into this corner. Always. I need to gap now. Caparossi is making manoeuvres. On the inside of a cower. Let it stop. Trying to get me on the cutback. 
No can do, I'm afraid, my friend. That was a really good run through there. That's really what we needed. It stopped. There's a black line coming from the bike. That was nice through there. Now we have to gap P2. Desperately need to gap P2. Desperately need to complete this challenge. Come on! Up two of three. It's not like Caparossi catch us this time. Okay, it stopped. It is so good through that corner. Really doesn't help us at all. They seem to keep squabbling though. I'm gone a bit deep. Yeah, the bounce over the curb. Good run through there. Decent run through there. And get it stopped into the penultimate turn. And that penultimate turn in the last race, I just put the throttle on a bit too early and it totally bit me back, but now we have to just be careful and tentative the throttle. It was a really nice first turn. Stars we mean to go on. Oh, bouncing over that curb. Didn't even fall down there. Come on. Not long to go now. We've got them by a second. Just get it stopped. Not too much drama. Nice out of there. Okay, it stopped. This is our bogey corner. We're running a bit deep. Just get on the power, get a better exit. No hand on. Caparossi's is catching us. Not long to go. Maybe a long left handle. And into the penultimate corner of the race. I get it stopped for air with you. It stopped already. And part two of the challenge is complete. Get in there. 250cc Valentino Rossi. We did it. We did it. Now let's get into the third part of this challenge. 500cc two strokes. Ooh, these bikes are monsters. Really hard to ride. I think there's only one Rossi in this, isn't there? Any one Rossi? Yeah. There's only one Rossi. Valentino Rossi, right. 2001 Honda, age 22. It's Austin next. Qualifying and race. Hard. Right then. I struggled in my rider career mode here. Let's hope we don't have the same again.
There we go. Hello from the circus. Let's get into this. So we have qualifying one and qualifying two. Let's hope we can at least get out of qualifying one, otherwise that'll be a nightmare grid position. I've never actually ridden this bike. I don't know what it's like, I don't know how it spins up. And it's like, yes, definitely it spins up. I'm dreading this opening turn on these bikes. Squeezing the throttle out of there is going to be a nightmare. Literally sideways through there. Brilliant stuff. Sideways again. It's up 500 cc, a not easy machines to ride. That's the most important thing. Let's get this lap in. Once we've got a lap in, I'm going to push more for a second lap, but just want to get a lap in first. You may have seen my video earlier in the day of Wayne Gardner's um, Honda and that was a tricky bike to ride, this is a whole new level, it's just a faster bike, full stop. AI are really slow through this turn if I remember rightly, it's like an ultimate turn. Final corner. Never wobble out of there. Right now we push for a second lap. Pretty later into every turn. Big wobble on through there. We're so fast through this section. Don't know what Williams is not going to get out of my way anytime soon. Get it pulled up. And on to the back straight. Slight wobble. And now five temps up on the time we just set. It's hard to tell whether we've got pace here. God, God has to be said. Definitely have the pace here in Moto 3 on my in my uh, rider career mode, but this is a whole different bike, whole different car. And can I just say I love these historical bikes. Absolutely love them. Gonna be another great lap. If we can just get out of this final corner, a bit of a wee. Seven tenths out we finish. 
might do an animal or something. To return to play, I I think it's just going to be, uh, yeah. Um, um, I don't think we should have done this track, because I think we're going to win by quite a bit. Which is rather unfortunate, so I wanted a bit more of a challenge. You know what, I'll tell you what, I won't do key two, and I'll just go into the, just go into the race and see what we can do. Have some overtaking to do over the three laps because otherwise, this is going to be a bit of a boring race for you guys. But me, like, pushing really hard usually is because, like, like that Qatar race is We're back boring as well. So sorry about that. But let's just skip to the race. Just skip to the race. So we end up 12th on the grid. I don't know where you take me again, I don't know where to fly. Yeah, let's just get into this now. Hello from Tech. Right, let's just get into this race. I think I'm gonna have to pay someone. Spike is just so quick. Okay, let's not through it. Straight into P1 from the start. Oh, but we oh. run over the curb there. Biagian checker, all over the curb, oh! Biagian Carlos checker, we keep making contact with Biagi. It's very crass last time. On the inside of checker, no such drama that time. I also don't think I'm going to have to push too hard to win this race. I'm just going to make sure I do it this time. Wow! Check a dive bombs it down the inside. Which I don't mind because we're quicker in other areas of the circuit, so it doesn't really matter. Like here, like this straight, look at this. Unintentional dive bomb. Do I dive up the inside? No, I don't. I defended very badly. See, Yamaha 1 2 currently, Carlos Checker in second, Max Biagi leads. We're going to change that, we're going to put a Honda in and make it a Yamaha sandwich. Or a Honda sandwich, I guess, I don't know. Honda sandwich with uh, Yamaha bread. AI program terribly around the circuit, can I just say? Oh! Felt the front going in that braking zone. Just showing you 
traction controls off as well. Absolutely loving this game right now. Let me know which game you prefer to see, guys. Dirt 4 or Motor GP 17. Because I can go back and play some more Dirt 4 if you want. It's kind of been a bit of a break from that. I'll be able to stick to that one. I'm, a good ball, I'll be able to. I'm just breaking early and making sure I hit those apexes, making sure I don't fall off. Me and Biagia, leaving him behind. I'm just following him. I'm just overtaking him in the places where I know I'm quicker, comfortably quicker, without forcing it. And this one just definitely quicker on the straight. Hard on the brakes at the end of this long straight into a little, almost half and more. Just, just less than 90 degrees. That's 75 degree corner, I think. Ooh. Definitely got the advantage through here. Just squirting the throttle, getting through. See how it is. What? Go down the inside. Fine. Gonna spin enough on the exit. Oh, he's oh. I'm gonna run it deep into this corner now. I know we've got the pace on the edge here, by a long way, but. Getting hard to just nail a move without him coming back. Nailing moves proving quite tricky. Hard on the brakes. Biagi's closing in. Can't let him go down the inside at the final corner this time. That's where the finish line is pretty much. Get just a little bit later into there. Maybe gap him slightly. Definitely got them through there. Just take it easy. Through the penultimate corner. And through the last corner. Come on. Get it stopped. Nice exit. Finish it. Yes. P1. On to the next part of the challenge. When one race to unlock Andrea Davizzi also. Let me know if you'd like to see a gameplay of him. Definitely, definitely. Might go for that. Right. Oh, we have a new viewer. Who is it? 
historic categories that's going to motor gp4 stroke um wait have we done let's double check we've done everything so uh, definitely did that and we haven't unlocked the other one okay definitely did that definitely did that and the one we've unlocked definitely did that Five hundred CCs definitely did that, and there isn't another one. There's only one, isn't there? Yep, definitely only one. All right. Now into four stroke. So we got this one: the Honda, the Yamaha, um, I think there's two more, isn't there? Another Yamaha. Wait, one. I can't see. Wait, one. Two. Three. Right. So we have Repsol to do next. 2002. Let's do that. And um, next up is Herat. Okay, qualifying and race hard, yeah. Right. Right. Gran Premio Red Bull de España. Circuito de Red. 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 Right. Let's just get 3Q1 if we can. Just go to track. Hopefully we can. I think this might and this might be the slow not the slowest, the oldest four stroke bike on the grid. I'm not hundred percent sure but I think it is. TCS off. It was a really quick bike in its time. And Rossi moved to Yamaha to prove that it wasn't just the bike, it was also him that won in the title, because everyone was like, oh, the Honda's just too good, best bike by a mile. So he moved to Yamaha, and he proved it by winning the title that he was, in fact, the best rider as well. He wasn't just on the best bike. Just Rossi on a Honda, you don't think Rossi on a Honda, but for most of his career, most of his early career, Certainly, or sort of mid career, is he was on a Honda in two stroke and four stroke. So, it's just, it's just such an easy bike to ride. Like, my traction controls on off. And look, I'm pushing this so hard. It's the best bike here. Like, such a nice bike to ride. This is the first time I've ridden it, and I literally, it's the easiest Moto GP bike to ride. Definitely. Love that bike. Oh, incredible. Incredible, incredible stuff. I don't know where we're going to finish, but that barely pole by a lot. Yeah, look at that. Lovely, lovely stuff. What a bike. Madness. Absolute madness. Absolutely amazing. Unbelievable bike. Unbelievable. It's just so quick. I'm not surprised people were saying, oh, it's the bike, it's the bike. I mean, it wasn't, but that bike is incredible.
Alright, out of the final corner, I can pretty much screw up this roll and be fine. Oh, I kicked it into a wheelie a little bit there, but you know what I mean, like, most bikes there, I would have been off. Even a Moto 2 bike there, I would have been off. Turn two. Right, turn three. Long left hand to turn four. Now long right hand to turn five. And a long run down to turn six will really help this powerful Honda. And to a long left hand to turn seven. Not that long, but medium length. Oh! And it stopped all over the curves there. Did an end there without even breaking. Hey, look at how skilled we are. I'm actually going to do another lap, see if we can improve in that sector where we made the mistake. I'm guessing we can. Definitely turns in quite slowly, like front end's a bit slow, but it's worth it by the amount of speed you can carry through the corner because it just does, it hardly spins up, like at all. Traction control is fully off and it's just the two temps slower than what we were on our last lap, but this is where I'm going to make the time up. I made the mistake on that last lap. Remember 38190. Oh, apparently it's still slower. Corner corner, it's been quite a messy lap. And it's a four tenth family anyway, I think it's still going to be. Oh no, we finished up one tenth last of it. Because of the penalty, it still it went a bit slower. See what we can do. So I still want to go faster. I want to make sure we get that full position. It was the best chance to get in the win. Especially as Nicky Hayden's on the lap. You know how quick he is. RIP. Unlucky. Just going out for a nice ride on his bike and then something terrible like that happened. Terrible tragedy. And obviously, yeah, around that time, all our thoughts were with his family. Come on. What's Hayden on? Is he on his Honda or what? I assume he is. It just doesn't look... Right, maybe it's because it's not fully loaded in. Oh no, it is his Honda. See, look how much exit speed we gain on him there. 
incredible. We go six tenths quicker again. I love this bike. This bike's incredible. Wow. Almost a second quicker. Oh, we got comments. David Perez, hello. Hello, David Perez M Malia. English? Me amo Jorge. Me gusta MotoGP porque es emocionante. Let's get into this. Try and gas him on his first lap. It's Nicky Hayden in second, followed by Sete Juvenal. And Valentino Rossi leads in her ass. Oh, bouncing over the curbs there. It's Repsol for Spain, David. Repsol. I mean, I'm speaking Spanish. I don't actually know if David's actually from Spain. Guess you could be from Argentina as well, mate. Let me know where you're from. I mean, the curbs at Jerez are the colours of the Argentina flag, if that helps. Blue and white. We just did we just did a race at Argentina if you wanna check this check that out early in the stream. I don't know, I don't know anything. Bring the final corner onto the final lap. A chance to complete this challenge. Nicky Hayden's pulled away from the rest of the rest of the pack. He is best of the rest. Gibbonel next. After that.
I did a video on Saturday Juvenile before as well. You can check that out, guys. So I'm Wayne Gardner, Rossi 125cc, Rossi 250cc, and um, Saturday Juvenile. You have to check out that Saturday Juvenile video there. It was so close. So close. In fact, I say close. I guess it gives you more of a clue if I say there was nothing in it. Go watch it, it was incredible. We come through to win on Rossi's Honda. Next part of the challenge is complete. Let's move on to the next part. Oh no, David's gone. David. David. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Great race there. Fantastic race. And a good win. As well. Two new riders unlocked as well. I don't know who that'll be. I think it'll be Davizioso and... I don't know the other. Not sure. Let's move into the next um next part. So let's go into historic categories. MotoGP four stroke. And the next one is Go Yamaha. Yamaha team. Two thousand and four Yamaha. This is when he proved he tried to prove that he was the rider. He was the ultimate rider and that it wasn't his bike that was winning him the races. Although that bike was incredible. Loved riding that. Yeah, let's get into this get into this one and see if the Yamaha's good as well. The Go Yamaha Go Three Two, one, go! Hello everyone! Du, 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 du. Go! Let's just get out of this session. We can. Is this one going to be as nice to ride on? The... Already spinning up a little bit more. Definitely feels like it's spinning up a little bit more. Sounds very different. Just to be expected. The doctor. Get on the brakes. Get on the brakes again, get it stopped. I hate this first again at the moment. I actually did a video um, riding as Alicia Spargo around Le Mans and I came P6 and the file corrupted so I couldn't upload it. Oh, on the grass. It's been quite a scruffy lap. Maybe trying to push it a little bit too hard. A bit faster than it wants to go, perhaps. Did you know, go. Oh, sorry. Um, right on the brakes. A lovely final little bit.
You go four attempts quicker through that opening sector. So there's definitely time to find. Just need to find it. Five attempts up now. That's a good run. It's going to be a big improvement. Nine tenths quicker. Whoop. All the rotty bites just seem incredible. Three point five seconds slower. Oh no! Oh, I'm going to start from the back again. I'm definitely starting from the back again. Not the back, but like twelve. Because that was just, whoa, so quick. I'm thinking about doing the Jeremy McWilliams challenge as well, if you guys would like to see it. Because he's not quite as good as Rossi. I was thinking maybe to try and finish top three on each of his bikes. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about it. We'll see. We're back live. I'm just gonna skip to race now because I don't know, it's just bike. Whew. Nikki Hayden gets pole from Seti Jibinel from Marco Melandri. Jeremy Jeremy McWilliams qualifies eleventh. Maybe it might be top ten finishes on each of his bikes, I don't know. Then there's only nine and two fifty, so that wouldn't work. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but... Let's just see what we can do in this race. Welcome to the twelfth on the grid. And if it proves too much of a task, then I might actually have to go, go back and re-qualify. Just a few more. Qualifying for Oh, this is going to be a good start, I can feel it. Look at that. If, guys, a little tip. If you change up before you go, and you get so much of a better start. So much. Incredible. Just fly off the line. We're trying to overtake Max Biaggi. Next up, Marco Melandri. Now, Danny Pedrosa on an old Honda, one of his old Hondas, 2007, I believe. Next up, Sete Gibbonel. Love his bike. His bike's incredible. The, oh, let's be real, all these classic bikes are incredible. Seti given I was going for a move to bite back. Trying to get us back. I don't want to run deep. Whoa! Really over the hill. Hello. 
Hello. Leave a like on this video if you're excited for the Austrian Grand Prix tomorrow. So. On the outside of Hayden, maybe. Down the inside. Get it stopped. On a bit wider, that'll give us the exit. And get on the power earlier. In the slipstream, we've left set Hayden and now behind. We set the fast lap straight after Hayden does. On the final lap. Uh, No wheelies over the hill this time. Right behind Nicky Hayden now. Up the hill. Long left hander, hairpin. Open hairpin sort of thing. Oh, nearly touched the grass. Wait on the brakes. Oh, we've run it a bit wide. That might give us the exit though. It does indeed give us the exit. We're alongside Nicky Hayden. We got out, break him into the chicane. And we have round the outside. Oh, he's stuck it down the inside though. But we get him. We lead. And hopefully trying to complete this next part of the challenge. the final corner and there it is another part complete close race with Nicky Hayden there very close very close race why did they all non-start I don't understand oh well why Tony Elias. I remember when he was on like the Honda. Now I think it's the final part to the challenge. So we've done that one, we've done that one. Where's the next one? Oh. Oh, I think it's here somewhere. Here it is. This is the la indeed the last part of the challenge. So, let's get into it. It's at Magello, how fitting, how fitting. Valentino Rossi's home Grand Prix. Here we go, in Magello. Here we go, in Magello, here we go, in Magello. Also, let me know if you'd like to see Ryder Career in a bit. A bit later on tonight, a yeah, stream of Ida Career Mode, what do you reckon? Or maybe just straight after this, it's up to you guys really, just comment. I don't think anyone needs to be in the stream anyway, so I have no viewers, I'm sad. You know, this bike feels really quick. 
just tell them that straight that it's quick. Like, look at this. This just accelerates. I love this long straight and Magellan on a MotoGP bike. Making sure you don't go deep into turn one. Also guys, let me know if you'd like to see when I've done, um, like, when I've done this challenge, would you like to see me complete it when I unlock the other Valentino Rossi, so the two others, the other one T5 and the other T50, I think it is, or is it, is it the other, might be a, uh, 500, I'm not sure, but the two that I haven't unlocked, would you like to see them, um, be completed let me know but i just wanted this to be sort of a beginner a bit the way a beginner would see it someone who's just started a game and they wouldn't they wouldn't have those other ones unlocked would they like to see this that's what i'm trying to say here i reckon that's gonna put us comfortably through that was a really neat lap really really neat lap yeah we're miles ahead Again, dude. Alright, well, I'm not doing Q2 again. I'm just gonna skip to race again. Because these, this one's too quick. And these. So, you see where we can go? Where we can finish off, to be honest. Autodromo del Modelo. Autodromo del Mugello. Well, the first qualifying. Let's just skip to race. Nicky Hayden qualifies first. Jorge Lorenzo second. Mark Marquez in third. And there's only 12 in the whole race. Okay. Stoner on the Honda as well. Beautiful collection of bikes. Beautiful collection of bikes. Stoner was very good on that Honda. Very good. Autodromo del Mugello. Gran Premio d'Italia. Oakley. Autodromo del Mugello. Mugello Circuit. Hello from Mugello. Valentino Rossi. Starting 12th on the grid today. The I can't, yeah, there wasn't only 12 of us in the race, that was a lie. It's gonna be a good, great start again. Yeah, I told you. The Aji on the Honda now. That's awesome. That Jibben Owl on the Landry. It's the Landry. Oh, 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 deep, deep. Very deep. Landry's in third. On the inside of him. Mosling out. Put down the inside of all these guys. We're through. We're through. No trouble. Oh, but Hayden wants to dive it back down the inside. That leaves us getting a poor exit. Oh, Hayden's going down the inside again. No, 
we've gone down on the curb. Oh, that took me so much by surprise. No, I'm actually not going to do my star cheat because it's just going to make it too good. It'll still be a good start anyway, I imagine. Yeah, it's still a fantastic start. Not quite as good because we're past the Azure by now. Yeah, Casey Stone has up to P4. I don't want to be in first by the end of the first lap because I really want to slip stream somewhere on the straight. I know that's weird, but I just really want to. Stone has had a, Stone has had a bad run through there. I muscle him out. But he hits me through there. He had some power earlier. It's a quick bike. Give him that. Very quick bike. Andrew outbreaks us through there, which I don't mind. A better mid corner speed. And get a much better exit. Slip stream in Lorenzo. It's a 2010 Yamaha versus a 2008 Yamaha. Hard on the brakes. Time to tell him on Lorenzo goes very wide. Back onto the racing line. We've gone wide into turn two. See if we can catch Nicky Hayden now. Chase down Nicky Hayden. Oh, he's up on the curb a bit. I might give us a better run through there. Definitely has. On the inside, no. Side. Let's the throttle onto the straight. Made a muscle of that wide, but that's not happening, mate. This Yamaha is quick on the straight. I thought Hayden was going to run it deep there, so. I just let him go through and I didn't lean off the brakes a little bit to try and stay with him, but I should have. It's alright, we're back through. And the final lap of this race. Great battle with Nicky Hayden currently. A bit wide. Nicky Hayden tries to look around our outside. Not happening for him through there. Oh no, we have got one more to do. This isn't the final part of the challenge. I've just remembered, guys. How could I forget? His current Yamaha. We have to win on his current Yamaha. 
I was like, how fitting it was to finish up Magello and everything. We haven't even finished. This is also, this stream's also for me as well, because I get to test out a lot more of the classic bikes. This is the first time I've ridden all, the, all these Rossi bikes, apart from the 125 and the 250. I haven't ridden any of them. That's going to be P1. Jack in there. Managed to get away on that last lap. Sweet stuff. Sweet, sweet stuff. And we're on to the final part of the challenge. The current 2017 Yamaha. Here we go. Have to go over to MotoGP. Official Riders, Valentino Rossi, 2017, Yamaha YZRM1. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. And it's Catalonia to finish it off. Qualifying race, hard difficulty. <sighs> Never ridden this bike. I think the only MotoGP bike, no, I've ridden two MotoGP bikes, three MotoGP bikes, three I think, I think it's three, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three, and that's the Suzuki, the Tech 3 Yamaha, the hearty welcome and the Aprilia, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, let's get into this, let's get 3Q1, come on. Never ridden this track on a Mert GP bike either. I mean, it's quite easy with like the 125 bike and the 250 because like, I've ridden Moto 2 bikes and Moto 3 bikes. But I have hardly any experience with the Moto GP bikes apart from the classic ones. And they're, just, they're a little bit different to this. So, Let's see what we can do here. It's a fast bike, I mean, that. Very fast bike. Yeah, it's not going to turn one. Don't fall on the curb. Come on. Like, this bike cannot turn into that final chicane. It really hurts my fine. Oh, bro. Hopefully, 
that's gonna be okay. But I don't know. I genuinely don't know whether that's gonna be okay. Because that was quite a slow lap. That, it felt slow. Still looking okay, but only just. How am I gonna be okay here? Just about. So close. Get through though. Now for our key three lap, our key two lap, sorry, we're gonna have to push really hard to get anywhere near the top there. Wow. Surprise, surprise. That is surprising. That is very surprising. Not gonna lie, that is surprising me. Whew. Sorry, I just on me and me and my mic checking me. Thing was okay. Right. I'm just gonna skip through slightly. So people have put times in. Let's go. What is that little thing now? Right, on to our key three lap. Get it stopped into turn one. Oh, somebody's crashed. That's my best, but three tenths down. Get it stopped into turn into this long right hander. Sorry if I'm quite quiet, but I really need to concentrate on this lap. Three hundred of a second up. Bit off on the curve there. Alright, get it stopped. Three temps up. I think this last sector is honestly where I lose all my time, not gonna lie. I'm very slow for this last sector. Especially through there. If we do manage to get the wind here, it's gonna be very hard for it, put it that way. Is it gonna put us P1? Get in. I don't know whether that's gonna be where we stay, but let's hope so. And we do stay in P1. Awesome stuff. How are we so quick in this and then we're so slow in Q1? I don't even feel like a hugely, hugely better lap, to be honest, but anyway, whatever. Let's see what we can do. Cerqui de Barcelona, Catalunya. Cerqui de Barcelona, Catalunya. Sassai de Bananao. Right, come on. Come on. Hello and welcome. Let's do this. This is going to be a hard fought win here, if we can get the win, that is. I'm going to push right to the edge here. It's a good start at least. We know it's a good start. 
We've got a cushion into the first turn. Get it stopped. Gap them through there. Come on. We need the field. We've got a little bit of a gap here. Nine temps. A little bit of a cushion. Over to Vizio, Sam Croxler. I just don't want to be doing that. I've got to stay away from the curves. Hard on the brakes. Now through the corner I hate. Keep it tight to the apex. It will be fine. And this chicane I hate on the spike as well. Just cannot get it turned in. We've got a gap. Over to Vizioso. But I was looking at the split times and I think about breaking myself. No, got it stopped. Nice one. Very surprised that I got that stopped. Oh, over the grass, what am I doing? If I'd have got a penalty there, that could have been game over. Stay away from the curve. We've gapped the Vizioso, come on! Not long to go of lap three. We've got a cushion, now we've just got to bring it home. Nice and early on the brake. Conservative. Penultimate corner. Oh, get it stopped. Through the final corner. 
I think we're gonna complete the Valentino Rossi challenge. Yeah, we did it. And that is gonna be it for this stream. I hope you enjoyed everybody. Drop a like on the stream. I'm just I'm just blown away. It, Valentino Rossi's bikes are so iconic. Just love them. I really hope you, you do too. Show your appreciation. Drop a like on this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.